just 12 miles between here and Woking's Kingfield Stadium. Near neighbours, local rivals. It is the shots against the cards this lunchtime in the National League. First game of the day in the fifth tier. All the shots playoff hopes fading further week by week right now. Working only above the relegation zone on goal difference, both clubs, Adam Virgo, could really do with ending 2016 on a high note. Yeah, they certainly will do, and Merry Christmas to everyone watching us with us today. Always a great game, these local derbies. Sometimes, as, we, as Gary Wood was saying, the, the league form certainly goes out the window. Certainly the bragging rights are up for grabs. But the away side will be certainly fancy themselves in the early periods of the game to start fast, trying to get Ugui into the game as quickly as possible. Keeper by the order shot captain Reynolds. Now Conroy. Streak has made a good run down the left. That's who he looks to seek out. Rendell is waiting in the middle. Got time and space to weigh up the cross here. It's a good ball over and what a fantastic chance for the opening goal as well. Idris Kanu it was who'd come in from the right hand side. Well, at the moment, looking at just playing so, so deep and there. Plenty of gaps in between for all the shots to get balls into the final third. That's a massive opportunity there for the youngster. We were talking about him before the game. I believe that he really believed that he was going to score. Just horribly got it wrong there. But it's certainly the game in the calendar year that really brings the families in, you know, for, for a great Boxing Day fixtures, especially the local derbies as well, which the National League cover. This was the only game last season that drew a crowd over 2,000 for Aldershot. That was over 3,000. Certainly is a good attendance today as well. Straker. Seems to go on the outside here, the left back, and he's floated over a good cross, and it's not been dealt with. And there is the opener. It is Shrent out. Now the outright top scorer for the shots this season. The first goal in this local derby comes inside eight minutes, but certainly it will have to go down as a goalkeeping error. Well, this is what you need to talk about, experience. Again, too many times on this left-hand side, Strake has got down too easily. It's a certain bread and butter cross for Hall. But your experienced centre-forwards, Scott Rendell, that's what you need to do. You need to be aware the mistake could happen, and then you just pass it into the back of the net. It's been a positive start from the home side so far. Quality strikers capitalise on goalkeeper mistakes like that. He was in the right place at the right time. Goalkeeper mistake there. And a big celebration as well against his former club. Plenty of lone clubs that he's been to. But at its level, as he showed it, Woken can find the back of the net. As you said there, the fans did pay for his knee operation and decided to move on and to their arch rivals as well. Certainly a quality, experienced striker in this league. Of course, a lot of goals at Woking, 41 in 75 league appearances, but it's the one appearance last season. And now it's fell along and it's another one! What a start here for Aldershot, right on the front foot. And 2-0 up inside, 10 minutes here against Woking. Well, what a finish here. Shamir, Fenelon, and again, you just see how deep Woking are, the amount of time that they've got to pass the ball through. It's Gallagher with that little flick around the corner. He gets the right side of you. More defending for Woking to do here as well, with plenty forward here for Woking. In fact, uh, only two have stayed back, I should say, for all the shot. Fenelon loitering on the edge of the area. is this inside the area the players really clustered together now they move apart he swung in with that left boot and it's gone past everybody any sort of touch there and it would have been three now I don't know if this was deliberate or not it's Caprice on the line net clearing it away that's why you need your player on the post Straker Gallagher just turning into trouble appealing for the corner Two goals coming inside the first 10 minutes for Aldershot Rendell with the opener and then Fenelon and his strike partner with the second. What can they do from this corner kick the shots? 
Goalkeeper stays on his line. And it's another one. It's Rendell at the double. Two against his former club. And how he's enjoying himself out there. You certainly couldn't say that about Woking. Well, again, it's just such an easy goal. Yakubu was marking Rendell. Just does too easy. Just takes his eye off the ball for that split second when he loses him. You can just see it just before the cross came in. Scott Rendell gets across it, just gets enough on the ball to pass it into the net pass. Brandon Hall. He is just such a simple, simple goal. As we saw there, as Fenelon was trying to help out at the back as well, it's been such an organised team performance defensively as well from Aldershot when they've needed to. Goalkeeper Cole was just about on the edge of his area there. That was a very close run thing. So nice one for the goalkeeper. So, so difficult to judge. There's a ball over the top, just bounces outside. Oh, that's outside the box. Ten minutes of the first half we go. This is the space I was talking about. Just the amount of time now he's got to go forward. There's from Straker and Rendell's at the back post. Tried to and selfishly knock it down into the path of Mensa. Was on a hat trick, Rendell. Little in terms of the ball as well. Go, Came Ferdinand. Carter. Get in the box, Charlie! This is Gozzi Ugru with Murta waiting in the middle. Ugru goes on. It was good play by the centre forward. Just a little glimmer of light, slightest sign of encouragement there for Woking. His own scoring goals hasn't been that much of a problem, Adam, for Woking. They've managed 36 in 24 matches before this weekend, more than any other side in the bottom 12. That. This is Mensa. It's that crossover towards Fenelon. Maybe should have made it four. Well, this is Woking problem. This will be a prime example. One long ball over the top. You let it bounce too easy. And when it does bounce, you don't get tight enough to stop the cross coming in. And there's a brilliant ball in. Fenelon should be scoring that. He pulls off Sarp. And that should be four. He knows it as well, doesn't he? <laughs> so two minutes of added time we go. Venue. That's nicely done. And it's Mensa. And it's a hat trick. It's Scott Rendell again. It has been the perfect first half for Aldershot against their local rivals. Misery for the Cards. 4 0 Aldershot. Well, again, arguably their player of the season, Mensa. Again, it's Gallagher with that little flick around the corner. And he just motors past Brian Sarp on the front foot there, crosses it in. And there is the man of the moment to get his hat trick, Scott Rendell. It's been a brilliant performance in the first half from Aldershot and Gary Waddock's sides. This scoreline could have been a lot more, Adam. It really could have done. But they've taken their chances when they've had them, and one could have got a long, long second half to come. I think perhaps changes in the offing from Gary Hill and Woking. Well, what a first half on Boxing Day for the shots in front of their own crowd. And Scott Rendell, former Woking player, has backed himself a first half hat trick. The other goal of the first half scored by Fenelon for Aldershot. No changes made by Gary Hill at half time. Has decided to stick with the same 11 that began this game. It's launched forward early on by Conroy, headed by Caprice. I guess in the circumstances, you would tend to think that changes would have been a given at half-time, given the performance, given the circumstances, but I guess as well, it, Gary Hill could be saying to these players, look, go out and do much better, prove that you're not those same players that went out in that first half. I mean, if I was a substitute for Woking, I wouldn't want to come on in the second half. Again, here was Murta dispossesses Carnet. 
Straker with the cross. Murta. Strength shown by Idris Karni. Still growing to do, of course, at 17. Idris Karni. That's a fine ball through as well here for Gallagher. He's got Rendell in the middle. And Fenelon was arriving to and it had to be touched behind by Ismail Yakuba. I'm not too sure where Fraser Shaw was thinking where he was going to be. No possession on the ball, caught out of position. So he does well there, Gallagher. Whips it across the near post, but in the end. It's already been a very difficult afternoon. Brandon Hall is it about to get worse here. Hold a shot with a free kick in a good position. As they seek more goals here towards Rendell. And Kanu! What a great chance. Well, that's two he's had now. This one should have hit the back of the net as well. Again, just look at the time in space that Rendell's got. To put the header back across. And just sometimes you have a little bit too much time to think about it. And the youngster there. This is another opportunity. It's been such a frustration for all the shot fans that their side haven't been able to maintain what was such a good start to the season. And he lost two of their opening 13 matches, but there have been seven defeats in the 12 games since but likely to be three points here today as Mensa wins his side of call and they still look very dangerous on the counter-attack order shot to go long it's pulling about in there and they're struggling to get it clear possibly a chance of a counter-attack on here led by Edgar who only has Gossi Ugwu up in support Carter Trying to get with it. A flag has stayed down. What a good save. On target from Gozi Ugwu. And Cole stopped it brilliantly. Oh, it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Throwing bodies forward to try and get that fifth goal. It's a great run from Gozi Ugwu. Certainly onside there. And Cole does brilliantly. He just comes out now as that angle down really quickly. Survivor with the resulting corner. And a challenge just inside the penalty area by Benyu. And it will be a penalty kick here to Woking. A rash challenge, really, from the teenager. It was a, a poor challenge. It was Charlie Carter that attacked it first. Good experience there from the youngster. Certainly was a penalty right behind that one, Adam. has been placed here by Anthony Edgar on as a second half sub player sign from Braintree in the summer the last goal was against Torquay in a one-all draw on the 15th of October can he help restore just a little bit of respectability to the scoreline he can't it's saved and on the rebound the challenge came in and they've kept it out well, that really sums up Woking's afternoon. Full credit to the goalkeeper. He made a good save before. It's Callum Reynolds afterwards. He follows in. Maybe a risky challenge the way that he's gone in. It's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. You deserve that little bit of luck. And that is quality defending from the captain there. Headed forward by Reynolds. Nice Evans just going to that centre half now. Conroy just, just sit in front of them. Mensa. And goes on. Mensa! Well, it's four, but it could have been more. Oh, I say it could have been a lot, lot more if all the shot would have taken their chances. Again, just look how easy it is. Sometimes embarrassing the way that they've defended today. Just comes back off Thomas. Good opportunity there for him to set himself. This Aldershot's fourth season back in the National League, by the way, since finishing bottom of the Football League in 2013. Spent five seasons in League Two. They finished as high as sixth in 2010. Lost in the playoffs against Rotherham. Hoping to get back to that sort of level in time. 
Certainly a work in progress as Carter heads wide for Woking. Hold the shot, M2016 on a high. Victory over a local rival, which brings with it a lifting confidence for Gary Waddock's side. It is also a boost for the shots, big playoff hopes. But this is set back for Woking's attempts to avoid the drop. Gary Hillside beaten for the 13th time this season. Rendell it was, who did the majority of the damage, scoring a hat-trick against his former club. A difficult day for Brandon Hall in the Woking goal. The Cards with a big fight on their hands in the new year, but an immediate chance for revenge over Aldershot come New Year's Day. Full-time, Aldershot Town 4, Woking nil.